So look, everyone's always excited about getting pregnant, but when they get pregnant, it's important that we ensure that they're having a healthy pregnancy and we're also ensuring that they don't have any issues early in the first three months. So whenever we find a patient that gets pregnant, we want to ensure firstly that they are pregnant by confirming by doing a beta HCG blood test. We also like to check, check their base hemoglobin level. So through that we do a CBC blood test. We also want to know what their baseline sugar levels are. So we would do something known as either a random blood sugar or maybe a fasting blood sugar or a post-lunch blood sugar. We would also do their thyroid te function test which would give us an idea whether their thyroid is functioning prior to pregnancy or in pregnancy itself. Because thyroid levels, if they are abnormal, can lead to abortions as well. So that's something that we need to be care of, uh, take care about. In addition to that, we also want to look at their HIV, their hepatitis B, their hepatitis C, as well as syphilis, just to ensure that the baby doesn't have any complications, nor does the mother during pregnancy itself. In addition to this, we always make sure to do a urine test to ensure that there's no urinary infection because mothers with urinary infections can also have issues during their pregnancy. So these are the antenatal tests that we look at when we look at the mother in the first three months of the pregnancy itself. So I think that's like a catch-22 situation. I think for different patients, all the, all the three trimesters are equally important. But generally the first trimester is where we are looking at the most important part for the baby because that's when the organs are developing and that's when we're actually going to know how well the pregnancy is going to progress. Of course, all three trimesters have their own complications. But for me, the first three months are the most important because generally after you get past the first three months, we know that the pregnancy has gone through its most critical stage of where the organs are developing and where the pregnancy is going to be sustainable. Yes, So electronic fetal heart rate monitoring is basically done before you go into labor as well as once you are into labor as well. So prior to labor we may do a test called as the non-stress test which is done for approximately 20 minutes and it could be done once a week or twice a week depending on what your condition is. In that we only check the, how the baby is, the baby's heart rate is for about 20 minutes to see whether the baby's heart rate is well within the normal limits or is it going high or is it going low. So this gives us an idea about how the baby is doing, whether it's doing well or not. During labor, we're ensuring that the baby's heart rate is not compromised, especially when the baby, when you're having your contractions. So this again gives us an idea whether we need to take any action when the baby's heart rate is dropping. So this again gives us an idea about how your baby is doing during the labor process and no, in, uh, no intervention is required during your uh, pregnancy. Thank you.